Both the BF Goodrich KM3 and the BF Goodrich KO2 are from very different categories. Let's start off with their designs and then we'll see how both tires perform next to each other on all types of terrains including highways. The BF Goodrich KO2 presents a 3-rib design in the middle featuring worm-like blocks with full-depth siping, notches and offset edges. These make an interlocking web of grooves running in all directions, joining up with outer lateral tread voids the shoulders make. These shoulder lugs are much more aggressive. They are bigger in comparison and are equipped with boulder notches and stone ejectors placements in between. And on the outer edges, these lugs are equipped with powerful mud scoops and sidewall lugs providing ample off-road traction though it's still not enough when compared to its bigger brother. The BF Goodrich KM3 features a more open thread design with larger thread voids forming interconnected lateral and longitudinal channels. Moreover, just like the KO2, its thread also features dual stone ejectors where the triangular ones are placed in the outer thread voids and the conventional ones are clearly seen between the shoulder lugs. All these features account for much better self-cleaning efficiency on KM3, allowing mud and dirt particles to escape out in multiple directions. Though this comes at a cost, as the tire's on-road performance gets severely compromised. Let's talk about that. As one would expect, the BF Goodrich KO2 being a less aggressive tire performs better on roads. It provides more rubber-to-road contact, generating better friction and its lighter weight combined with shallower tread depth delivers faster steering feedback in comparison. The BFG KM3 on the other side weighs more and its softer compound with a lot of tread depth causes its lugs to bend and move a lot. This results in under and over steering causing the tire to have a slower steering response. That's why KM3 only offers up to Q in speed rating, whereas on BF Goodrich KO2 it goes up to S. Moreover, with excessive bending of the lugs, the KM3 also gets a limited tread life and reduced fuel economy. This is because energy is dissipated through the flexing of the lugs instead of being utilized for rolling of the tire. And as all these lugs carry more weight on them, they rub off the surface with more force, decreasing overall tread life. And so it makes sense why this tire does not come with any threadwear warranty, whereas on KO2 you get 50,000 miles. Moving towards wet traction, although KO2 is not so great to begin with, it still does better in comparison. The tire gives a lot more siping, which provides better wiping abilities. Though in case of hydroplaning, both tires get to supply similar efficacy with their network of aqua channels. Coming to the winter traction, in order to perform better, all trained tires try to mimic a lot of features which winter tires have to offer. Besides being rated eligible for severe winter performance, these tires also try to make snow-to-snow -snow contact as snow sticks better on snow. And they get to have a thermal adaptive rubber which does not get stiffer with freezing temperatures. And so, as the BF Goodrich KO2 shows up with more of these features, it's more effective and gets rated with 3 Peak Mountain Snowflake symbol unlike the KM3. The tire's interlocking design with traction notches and full depth sides in all directions, including the shoulders, trap in the snow particles and make much more efficient snow to snow contact. The BF Goodrich KM3 on the other side, due to its wider grooves, does not provide optimal snow traction. However, it can still be expected to provide some traction on deeper snowy terrains. 
Moving on towards the off-road performance, although it makes sense why BF Goodrich KM3 yields a better traction on all types of rugged terrains, it's still surprising to see how KO2 being an all-terrain tire isn't too far off either. First off, the tire gives you a very resembling durability. It offers similar cut-resistant rubber with Kevlar reinforcements and its internal construction consists of 3-ply polyester casing and 2 steel belts just like the KM3. Additionally, both tires feature a similar sidewall design with joined-up lugs that offer enhanced biting edges. This structure provides comparable traction on rocky terrains, especially with lower air pressure levels. Though mud and sand are the two terrains where you would see KO2 struggling a lot more in comparison. The interlocking design of this tire, which excels in retaining particles in its grooves, proves to be a disadvantage on muddy terrains as it hinders efficient evacuation abilities. And on sand, the tire lacks with its stiffer outer edges having two-ply spirally wound nylon cap plies and sharper shoulders as both of these try to dig in, which is the worst for traction on this type of terrain. The BF Goodrich KM3, on the other hand, provides a wider thread voids interconnected with each other. This yields superior mud evacuation. And with lateral arrangement of lugs, the tire efficiently scoops and propels loose ground backwards, resulting in increased forward momentum. Basically, on softer terrains, you need two things faster evacuation and paddling. That's why balloon and paddle tires do so great on sandy terrains. And as the BF Goodrich KM3 supplies both of these features in a better way, it's not only able to outperform BF Goodrich KO2, but also some of the major players in the mud terrain category as well. Lastly, let's look at the tire sizes. The BF Goodrich KM3 with 56 sizes comes in 14 to 22 inches, while the KO2 with 91 total sizes are available in 15 to 22 inches wheel diameters. They have the following specs. Please make sure that you subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so and visit CompareTheTire.com to check out all the other comparisons including this one. Till next time.